new video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Ultimaker 2 Plus Extended Video Mechanism into a better one. And you will see all the steps related with it, including the software update that is required. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start. Most of you might be experiencing this problem, which is the grinding of the filament with the Ultimaker itself. So we are right now using Ultimaker 2 Extended Plus and we are going to change this feeder mechanism with the bond tag that we have and we are going to replace this old filament feeder mechanism with the new version that is provided by the bond tag company we purchased it and we are going to replace it it's exactly the same screws over here and over there so i'm going to unscrew this one from here to and from here and put this one in there and see the performance how it's going to make the job better or not what we are going to do is to remove these two screws, one from here and one from there with the proper Allen wrenches and then replace it with the new one. After everything is detached you can see the back side of the default feeder mechanism as you can see it is like this and we have a little bit filament grinded over here and there so we are going to remove this by removing this blue thing from here and detach this pipe. The blue holder is really easy just pull it and it will detach from here and what we are going to do right now is to remove these four screws from their places to release the tubing so after you remove these screws what you are willing to do is to release that when you release the tube comes out automatically and these are the four screws that I removed and this is the how the interior looks like as you can see lots of filament grinded and accumulated inside and then what I'm going to do is to get my new feeding mechanism and align the gears with the gears over there and attach it like that. And then what I'm going to do is to fasten the screws from top and bottom. After fastening is complete, we are going to remove this blue holder from here like that and attach the tubing back in. After the tubing is done, little bit raise the white tubing entrance and put the blue thing back in so what is inside is this so the beauty of the new extrusion system is it is almost similar but as you can see it grips from the both hand sides of the filament when it moves and so it applies more force and better reliability when you want it to when you want your feeder to work properly so that's why it is good companies suggest that the tension in here in this bar should be in the middle for you to get the best out of it so that's what they did and that's how they get a really good and that's how they get a really good print while keeping this on the middle so right now we are going to do this but one thing that I suggest is um, what you need to do is to make your filament straight so that it will get in properly from this thing otherwise it's a little bit hard to move the filament in to the system it's just like getting st stuck a little bit so make sure that your filament is straight now we are going to arrange some couple more things before we continue right now what we are going to do is download the firmware that we need for Ultimaker because we are going to change the firmware so we have this link over here you can click it in the description below for Ultimaker 2.1 Jar Jar Extended since we are using Ultimaker Extended 2 Plus uh, we are going to use this link if you are using normal Ultimaker what you are going to do is use Ultimaker 2 Marlin but in our case since we have the extended version we will use this one what you need to do is to click click clone and download over here and download zip file when you click it it will ask you to save it and when you save it it will be downloaded on your desktop after that one if you don't have the Arduino software click downloading the Arduino software and again it will download too since I already have the Arduino I'm not going to do that but download the Arduino too if you don't have it okay we have this zip file over here I'm going to unzip it and open up the firmware so when we look inside we have this Marlin and we are going to edit this configuration H file for us to be able to edit this configuration H file we are going to install the Arduino and we are going to do one thing with Arduino I bring my Arduino program over here right now what we are going to do since we are in the Mac uh, click show package contents it is fairly simple in Microsoft too just try to find the same packages that we are looking so we go to the contents 
Okay, in here we will click Java. From Java we will go to the hardware. Find the hardware, go to the hardware in there. We will click the Arduino. AVR, from the AVR we are going to look into the libraries and in there you will find the wire. Remove that wire from the folder and put it in there and close it. After we are done with it, we will put this wire into the same place again. But right now we don't need it. And then click Arduino and go to open click open in there go find the configuration file in the desktop go to the file marlin in there click the marlin i eno and click open when we open it everything comes to the screen let's make it bigger so when we open it here in the top sections configuration tab we have this configuration.h when we click it you will see the entire configuration file what we are going to do is to find one thing that we are interested when you go look at user manual of bomb tag there are a couple things that they want us to change on the software which are the e steps and the loading speed so we are going to change these steps to 311 loading speed to 50 millimeter per second you can find this link in the description down below again but let's do that so in here since this configuration h file is a big file we will just click ctrl f and find the step and uh, let's click find again okay what we find is default access step per units in here we are going to change the last one to as it's indicated 311 so which is the number one thing that we need to change after we change that we will go to the material section um, what we are going to do is click this drop down menu over here and find the um, menu underscore material underscore age click that one when we do that we have the thing over there it is uh, very easy to find too what we are going to do is filament inter filament insert fast speed which is 80 millimeter per second we are going to change it to 50 and this is what we need to do and that's it go to the tools make sure that you select the correct port and go to the board and click Arduino Mega yours might be in Uno but mine is in Arduino Mega so make sure that you select this Mega and the processor is selected and the port is selected properly and then click verify just to make sure that there's no bugs in our code click to verify after you connect click upload since I didn't connect it yet I'm not going to click this upload but you will upload it into the Ultimaker and everything will be ready to go go back to your Arduino show the package contents and do the similar things in the Windows too. show the package contents go to Java go to the hardware go to the Arduino go to the AVR go to the libraries and find the place where we remove the wire and put it back in and then close it so that your Arduino will work perfectly back again Otherwise, you might get upset a little bit. To go to our main menu and go to the maintenance. In there, go to the advanced and go all the way down for factory reset. And click yes. It will do the factory reset and Ultimaker sign will come up. And you will need to go over this initial leveling and all those kind of stuff. It seems like our Ultimaker is printing perfectly and we will see the final results when it's done. And also I'm printing another Banshee, which is the bigger version. These are the completed prints and I'm going to put the STL files required to print these in the description down below. As you can see, Ultimaker did a good job, but it could be better, of course, with the better settings. I just increased the speed so that we can uh, see these faster. So in our scenario, we weren't able to print anything like this because um, the feeding mechanism was bad and it wasn't feeding properly. The prints were like halfway done. Uh, but with the feeder mechanism, it is properly done. This is a swimming banshee, by the way, and it does the job properly again. With the better settings and longer print time, it can do a better job too. But for now, what I can say is it is not grinding the filament anymore and we are not losing our prints in the halfway. Currently, everything is working perfectly. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and enjoy the rest of the videos, guys. See you in the next one.